Hi there, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching the view machines, and today I'm so excited to show you this newest motorbike, which is called Balt Motors Bulldog. Special thanks to the manufacturer, that they let us make the very first review of their new product. According to the official presentation, we see now the first in the world hybrid 2x2 electric motorbike. It's a serial model, and soon it will be available in the USA and Canada. All-wheel drive, noise-less transmission, built-in generator for charging, and other features. Today I'll show you all of them, besides we are going to make thorough tests of this bike, so it's going to be an interesting day. Get comfortable, my friends, it's time to begin, let's go! Now we are visiting the head of Balt Motors company, Dmitry Sivkov, and I am so glad to see him again. I say again, cause we were here a few years ago, when we filmed their previous model of 2x2 bike with gas engine. Now we see all the models of their bikes, from the very first one, even without suspension, to the advanced gas 2x2 model, and finally to our newest hybrid bike. Now you see the development of our 2x2 motorbikes, from the bike with gas engine to our electric bike. And it has huge advantages. The first one, it's noiseless. The second, it's powerful. The third, it's eco-friendly. And finally, it just saves money. It's much cheaper to charge the battery than fill up the fuel tank. Besides, we decided to install a generator that allows to charge the battery at any place, no matter where you are. By the way, if you haven't seen our review of their gas 2x2 motorbike, be sure to check it. I'll put the link in the comments. And now let's look at the construction of the bike. Well, firstly few words about the dimensions. It's quite big. The length is 2070 mm, the height is 1220 mm, the ground clearance is 300 mm. Now you can see how I look sitting on the bike, with my height 189 cm. The total weight without a generator is 158 kilos. There are two electric motors. At the front we see the motor wheel. From behind there is a reducer electric motor and chain drive. The total nominal power is 4 kW. The battery has 4.2 kWh capacity. Instead of a fuel tank, the bike can be equipped either with generator 2 kW power or with additional battery. All this room can be used just an additional trunk. A bit later I'll show you how all this stuff works in practice. One of the main features, there is a real suspension from Enduro bike. It's very comfortable long travel suspension. The wheels with 25 inch smart tires, with aggressive tire tread. There are hydraulic disc brakes, powerful trunks, hands protection, and the fenders are made of steel. We see here a full set of lights, turning signals, running lights, and powerful headlamp. The digital dashboard with all necessary info is bright enough even in sunny weather. Well, we've covered the main specs of this bike, and now I am looking forward to test this thing in practice. The very first impressions of this bike, it provides you great emotions. We can choose a drive mode here, real drive or all-wheel drive. I choose all-wheel drive. It's surprisingly powerful in this mode and speeds up very quickly. But it has smooth power, so you are able to control the bike very well. Then the suspension works properly, and I have every reason to say it's so comfortable motorbike. Despite I ride in all-wheel drive mode, it handles just as a regular bike, but I can feel a perfect traction in every moment. In fact, I enjoyed greatly my first ride. But let's watch Dmitry, who always tests his products himself. A 
As I said, the bike can be equipped with a generator instead of a fuel tank. It has 2 kW power and it fits the bike very neatly. The generator gives us many variants of its use. Firstly, we can charge the battery at any time, at any place and even while moving. Moreover, in our travels we can use any electric tools, devices and power equipment. I think it's an awesome feature for long expedition, isn't it? Then the bike can be equipped with a hitch, so it's able to top a trailer. It makes our bike be a real utility vehicle, so it can be used not only for recreational purposes, but for work as well. It has enough torque to tow a trailer with cargo, due to the reducer rear engine. Actually, Dmitry is quite an experienced rider, so let's watch him sweeping through the forest. And we see an impressive performance of the bike. The total torque of the both motors is 220 newton meters. It's plenty of power for this bike. As a result, it accelerates up to 60 km per hour just for 3 seconds. And due to the advanced suspension, we are able to control the bike precisely even on rough terrain. The good suspension kinematic, all-wheel drive and defective tires, all this stuff allows to feel comfortable on the bike even at a high speed on rough ground. But be careful, my friends. In regular life, you had better not go so fast in the forest, it's dangerous. Almost noiseless, powerful and eco-friendly all-terrain bike definitely will be relevant for numerous purposes. For example, if you don't want the whole forest knowing about your rides, electric drive is your choice. Besides, it saves money, cause it's 10 times cheaper to charge the battery than fill up the fuel tank. And the solution with the generator eliminates the main disadvantage of any EV, the limited range. Now you can charge the battery at any time. Now let's try to check the maximum speed. According to the official specs, the speed is limited up to 50 km per hour. But we asked to switch off the limit. As we can see, it speeds up very quickly, reaching 60 km per hour just for 3 seconds. And the maximum speed we could see is more than 90 km per hour. Impressive for a native bike, isn't it? Meantime, we reach this steep sandy hill. First of all, let's try to climb on it on rear drive. It fails. But now let's try with all-wheel drive mode. Easier. But let's try one more time, right from the spot. I think it's a bright example of advantages of 2x2 motorbike. Unlike gas analogs, an electric bike is much more simple to protect from water, so we can cross quite a serious water obstacles and 2x2 drive allows to go even on a swampy ground. Meantime, I'm moving on the most rough terrain now, but I feel rather comfy due to the awesome suspension. By the way, it's a solution with electric drive allowed to install a Rio Enduro suspension into 2x2 motorcycle. It's impossible with gas analog due to the complicated front wheel drive and numerous chains in the construction. Any ATV bike should be maneuverable for moving in woods, for example. And again, electric drive here is much better than gas, cause firstly, the turn of the front wheel is not limited by a front drive gears, and at the second, at any moment, we can switch on the reverse mode, just by pressing a button. It's so comfy. Even if a gas analog has a rear mode, it's much more complicated to switch it on through a gearbox. And the installed generator, to my mind, is a real game-changer. The range without a generator is from 60 to 90 km, depending on the condition. 
But with generator, we can charge the battery right while moving, so the total range is increased greatly. Even if the battery is empty, we can't keep on moving with working generator. That is why it's a key feature. Besides, as we can remember, we can use generator for supplying any power equipment, tools and devices we need in our expedition. By the way, it's getting dark outside, so it's time to make a camp. Frankly speaking, it's not a novelty to use EV for power supplying. For example, Rivian and new electric Ford F-150 also can be used for powering a household entirely. We just can power a camp. That is also a useful option. And while it's dark, let's test the headlamp. As we can see, it's rather bright. It's effective headlamp, 50 watts power. It's more than enough for any cases. Well, now it's time to have a rest, but we'll proceed right in the morning, so see you in a few seconds, guys. Good morning, my friends. Glad to see you here at this beautiful place. Let's keep on our tests. As a matter of fact, we didn't find any dirt to test our bike there. But we are going to test it on sand instead. While riding here, we can enjoy a fresh sea air and the sounds of waves, cause we are moving in silence without any exhaust. And as we can see, we are able to move easily on sand due to the 2x2 drive system. It's quite a hard task to move in these conditions on a rear-wheel drive bike, so if you have a lot of sandy grounds, it's another reason to think about 2x2 bike. And finally, let's speak about the price. As I said, this bike will be available in the US and Canada. But now I can speak only about an approximate price, and it's $7,000. Check the exact soon later, I'll put the link in the description. Well, let's go today, my friends. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments what you think of this bike. Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.